Lance and Rick for the Mud Star! <laughs> so that's my point, is that I don't really think that, that, that uh, Putin wanted Trump to be elected. Uh, but, he, uh, but I'm not arguing with you about that. I was, okay. I was thinking we were going to have an argument about whether Russia fucked with the elections. But I they think may have, but, but to what? It, let me tell you something. They probably, they, the Russians have been fucking with us for 40, 50 years. Yeah, but this for time they, they freaking successfully did. I mean, brutally. Like, no, 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 no. Like Rick, Rick, I'm, for I'm, like month after month, WikiLeaks bullshit every day about the DNC. Why didn't the Democrat in office, Obama, do anything about it? Well, everybody was talking about it. Nobody was talking loudly enough about it. Well, sure they were, and if, if Obama knew he was the one in office, he meets with Trump see, had nothing meet, to do with it. He meets with Senate leaders. No, they, yeah. they started a commission about it to investigate it, and then no, nothing and happened. People were, talking, people were talking about it, not loudly enough. It was lost in the noise. Um, but like Maybe frickin, there was nothing he could do. Well, he said he wanted to make it a... He said he hesitated because he wanted to make it a bilateral thing. And then he goes to the Senate, and Mitch McConnell says, nah, he's not going to help. Well, he, what he did do is he appointed a, uh, the Pentagon... He started a, a some sort of commission in the Pentagon, where they, I, I forget the word they use for it, but the Pentagon is supposed to look into the frontier of uh, cyber warfare. He he gave more uh, to that, but he really didn't do anything. As a matter of fact, pathetically, Obama is said to have told Putin to knock it off, and I'm sure that didn't impress Putin one bit. Apparently so, not. So, so really, so really, the Democrats, when they, uh, the Democrat president did nothing, and it was his purview, because the president is the commander in chief. All he did was expel a few, uh, a few Russians from the U.S. That had no effect. I'll tell you something. He may have done things to get even with them that we don't know anything about. But, uh, but my point is, uh, what what was the effective Democrat response? Moreover. I'll tell you where the Russians really screwed us. We lost the Vietnam War because of the Russians. The Russians put in billions of dollars to, to demoralize the U.S. So finally, the, the American public lost that war. That's where the KGB was very successful. A whole war, hundreds of thousands of people, millions died, and we lost it because of the KGB and the Democrats. Well, 50,000 Americans died. Yeah. Right, but over a million Vietnamese. Okay. And the point is, is that the KGB demoralized the U.S. They worked on the Democrats first because they, they're basically demoralized anyway. And the Democrats uh, forced us to lose the Vietnam War. When we pulled out, the Paris Peace Accords left them in a state of truce. But the KGB demoralized the U.S. They worked closely with Ted Kennedy. And Ted, this is true. Look it up. Ted Kennedy had ties to the KGB. As a matter of fact, in 1980... I, I don't know about that. In but, 1980... But what uh, there, kind of truce was going to hold with... with the, the, any the, truce that we supported with uh, our bombers on Guam. We could so have destroyed the invading that we, North, North Vietnamese... We could have destroyed their army from above. We could, have, we could have destroyed them when they broke the truce. But in Ted, 1975, when they started yeah, coming south? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Ted Kennedy refused. Not only, not only were we not allowed to go back in, but Ted Kennedy and the Democrats cut off all armaments. They didn't even get resupplied. When the, when the South Vietnamese army shot so you, their missiles. Hold on. So you think the Vietnam War wasn't a stupid war? No, it was a reasonable war, and it could have been won. In fact, it was one. We had separated no, no, those no, two no. countries. You love to say that wars were won yeah. at some point, and then they were lost by the Democrats. Yes, you, that, that's your thing. Well, yeah, that, that's frickin', why I hate the Democrats. The frickin' French were fighting in Vietnam yeah. for ten years or more before us yeah. to try to stabilize a, a, a capitalistic South versus a communistic North, and they had. But fucking Vietnam, South Vietnam's political leadership was shitty. Yeah, and most countries' political leadership is shitty until they've evolved to capitalism and democracy. Sure. But the point is that country would be free today. 
It'd be like South Korea. If it wasn't so what for the is Vietnam today? Is Vietnam a it's a, brutal, it's a brutal dictatorship like every other country that the Democrats touch. I, I don't... I don't know. I can't argue that Vietnam is... I, don't, I thought Vietnam was an okay place at this no, point. No, it's a brutal dictatorship. I mean, it's okay so long as you say you, you believe in the government there. So long as you like dictatorship and totalitarianism, uh, it's fine. I don't know. I don't I, know. I, that's not my style. As a Democrat, it doesn't bother you. I, I don't know. I thought be, people go on, on trips to fucking Vietnam. Yeah, I know. And they go to Cuba now, too. Thank you very much. Thank right, you, Cuba's free. Cuba's fucked up. Yeah. And the Democrats are fine with it. Did you, they, did you hear the marvelous, the melodious uh, 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 eulogy that, uh, that Obama gave to, to he Castro? Didn't, no, he didn't give... You, he was completely neutral. And you know what I like about Trump? He said he was a brutal dictator. That's the kind of man I want. I want a guy that says Castro is a brutal yeah, dictator. Yeah, right, Castro was a brutal dictator. Yeah, you think that, but Obama didn't. Yeah, he does. Then why did he make friends with him? Because he's almost, the guy's almost dead. He hasn't been in, I know his brother is still in power, but we've been blockading them and, and embargoing them since, 1960-something. Do that line again. We've been blockading and embargoing them since 1960-something. Yeah. And now the old guys are dying, and I think that it's not unreasonable to think that you think we should continue to of do course. this? Until they become a, a, a marvelous place for their people, until they let those people out of jail, that, that, that are being tortured and until they, they let them uh, be a, a democracy like, like we are, why do we have to be nice to them? Well, well you, you know, you we have to keep the pressure on. We can't let them, we can't let them say they succeeded, that they brought us to heal by... They, by, they didn't by, succeed. They're not succeeding, but... That's what they say they are. When, when, the, when, the, uh, when, when we started making these, uh, these overtures to them, uh, Rob, uh, I don't know that Rob. I want to argue about Cuba. Cuba is a stupid little fucking country that where they drive cars from 1952 because yeah. they fucked up their economy and more socialist policies. Oh, well, Cuba is a sucky little country, and I don't I don't care that we're slightly nicer to Cuba at this point. It's not the triumph of socialism, and it's not. It's just. It's just trying something slightly different in a country where the old dictators are dying. Yeah, and now we're supporting new dictators. Thank you, Democrats. I don't think so. I think Cuba will, I don't know. But I, fuck Cuba. I don't care about Cuba. Right, I do. I care about Cuba. I care about the South Vietnamese. I care about dictatorships uh, being friendly with Democrats. This is the problem. Democrats are friendly with all of the leftist de dictators all, everywhere in the world. All it has to be is a little bit communistic, and the Democrats love them. That seems like a horseshit generalization. It was? Let me ask you a question. Were there any Republicans that liked Castro? Were there any Republicans that liked losing the Vietnam Nobody War? Nobody likes Castro. Nobody likes Castro. The Democrats don't like him. The Republicans don't like him. He was... He's, a creepy old guy who had a shitty beard. <laughs> and well, I can't things. argue with that. All right, and then we're done. <laughs> what do you think of the picture so far? Right. That I wish I looked like that dude. That dude could get laid. <laughs>